Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a resume using Canva.com. First, you have to have an account here. So just go to Canva.com and create an account. Next, before we do anything else, what I want you to look at um, and search for would be first psychology of colors. Psychology of colors uh, pretty much talks about how certain colors impact human behavior like for example red and yellow has a tendency to make you feel hungry which is why hello mcdonald's jollibee um and uh, blue usually represents professionals but to give you a, a better overview just search for psychology of colors click on images it'll then give you uh, several presentations here and uh, each color would have different um, effects, so to speak. So if we click on this one, it'll show you that red makes someone feel excited, also um, shows strength, love, energy. Purple is all about royalty, luxury, spirituality, and ambition. Black is formality, dramatic, sophistication. White always 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 make someone feel um and you know uh, think about something that's clean now you have to decide what color you want to use so just for the purpose of uh, this training i'm looking at using blue because i i'm going to create a um, resume that's uh perfect for um application as a real estate virtual assistant and if you will type in color for real estate it'll actually sh say here um, there are five color choices what color is best for real estate it says here blue is an industry favorite and so you would notice that there are so many real estate companies and businesses that are using blue in their color palettes now, speaking of that, once you've decided um, what color palette you want to use, you want to type in the color and then type in color palette. That way, it'll bring up several different uh, samples of color palettes that you can use. Color palette um, is simply a, a guide on what works and what doesn't work with your color of choice. I am actually looking at this one. This one looks playful, but it still looks clean and professional. And so you're also going to get the hex codes right under it. We're going to use that in a bit. Let's just keep it in there. Going back, so in Canva, all you have to do is type in and search for resume. When you do that, it'll pull up a lot of templates that you can use. What I love about Canva is that it would actually give you um, an overview on how your resume would look like, and it's pretty much just plug and play. So I'm thinking, since we're going to use the color palette blue, then we might as well just use this one. Now, you would want to, if you were on a free version, what you want to do is choose something that says free. Um, or it doesn't have a crown. If it has a crown, it means it's actually paid. So let's try using, I think I like this one. So you just have to click on the template that you want to use. And that's pretty much it. You just have to change all of the details. For example, I want to change um, the photo. I want to put my picture. So I'll just go to... I'll just hit on upload and then I'll click on upload media and then I want to use this picture you see it's actually loading on the side once it's uploaded you just have to drag and drop it and voila it's there already nice right let's change the name so Let's do that and then this is what you call the tagline so what I want to put in there is real estate virtual 
assistant you can actually use and revise um, your resume based on the market the niche or the type of business that your client um, or your target client um, have so for example i'm using the same template i'm applying for a b2b sales closer i'll just change it in there and boom so let's go back to your real estate virtual assistant about what you want to put here is um, a little bit about yourself your work experience um, what can you do for your clients business how can you add value to their business so I'd say I'm a professional real estate virtual assistant since 2011 I have extensive training on how to handle from pre-listing down to closing and my goal is to make your life run smoother now let's just say for example this is my phone this is of course you want to change that to your own and then education let's just say that i already changed all of these job experience i'm i'm just not gonna change it but again when you do your own resume you have the option to change add um remove any of of these if it doesn't apply to you okay so any elements you can edit to match your own profiling you can add elements if you feel like it you can remove elements if you feel that it, it clogs your resume we want our resume to have the following one it has your name it has your tagline it will it's actually supposed to tell your future clients how you can help them you can use the about section to do that it has to have your contact information it has to have your previous job experience or if you're a student you want to highlight your course what you're currently taking um, what extracurricular uh, extracurricular activities um, you have um, as a point of reference for your experience last but not the least let's go back to the psychology of colors and the color palette so we've chosen this color palette i want to use this dark one as one of the blocks so it's zero two three zero four seven let's change this one to change it just click on the element click on color at the top type in the hex code so again that's zero two three zero four seven right here And when you type that in, it will actually show you the palette. Now, one other thing that you want to check on is if you change one element, you have the option to change all the colors that use the same element. So for this one, I'll say change all, but let me just make sure. Let's make it smaller i'm thinking it'll also change this color because it's the same one but let's click on change all voila there you go next um i want to keep everything else the same so we have yeah this one this one actually looks good already it's clean and uh if i'm going to add my job experiences here I, it would probably clog it so what i'm thinking is i might want to oopsie yeah there's so what i'm thinking is i might 
I can move this send to back that way it will not be affected if I try and move it ah. also one other option you have is say for example you're already happy with this particular element the box um, here and you want to lock it so it won't move when you move other elements you just have to go to the top right look for this lock icon click on that and voila it won't move anymore okay so next one um, say I want to put this at the bottom and I want to put my job experience at the top okay you can also do that that's another option and then just highlight Ooh, I did something wrong okay let's highlight this one first there there okay so that's one other um, option that you have because if I add my job experiences here it'll definitely clog it so I want to make sure that I have enough space for my job experience now once you are done creating your resume all you have to do is click on the three button at the top right click on download and since this is a resume what I want to do is save it as a PDF and as PNG again you want to save a copy as a PNG and you want to save a copy as PDF so just for the purpose of this training I'm going to save it as a PDF and then hit on download it'll say here it's downloading and then it'll pop up right here if your Chrome setup um, is to choose a folder if not it'll automatically go to your downloads folder and that's it you already have your resume so I hope this helps if you guys have any questions about how to create resumes in Canva or if you have any questions about working from home feel free to comment on this video don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more work from home cheese see you